It's just a very beautiful day out. I don't know why no one else is out here. Yeah, why is it just us? We just passed a sign that said, pavement ends, and they weren't lying. <laughs> this is reminding me an awful lot of Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> we are on our way to Nebraska now to find some snow. This is the weather for Grand Island. It's pretty close to where we'll be. Yeah, it looks like they got blizzard conditions likely tomorrow. Probably get about six inches, so we figured we'll stay there and see some snow because there ain't none of that going on here. How many people chase snow? Most people go south, they chase the sun, we're chasing snow. Yeah, we were unhappy with this and decided let's go find snow. It's 57 degrees here. It's freaking warm. It's ridiculous. It's too warm. reserve a site when we were on our way here earlier. Usually KOAs leave packets out with your name on it. Mike said that there's no names on these packets, they're just site numbers and none of my confirmation email does not give me a site number. KOA usually doesn't give you that. So I don't know what site we have. So Mike's going to see if there's an emergency phone number because none of the numbers I have go to anyone. I'll just go to voicemail. So hopefully he can figure something out. There is hopefully there is an emergency number and we can get back to our site. Well, here we are, our luxurious accommodations. A little close to your neighbors, but whatever. We needed a site and we got one. It does appear that the water is on at the sites. So they got them bagged and heated. See the dump station right there, and our dump bay is there, so I think we're good. We're fairly level too. Power, everything. Damn. Our business. Piper's going with me. Let's run this envelope back up to the office because we didn't get our online reservation, so we had to fill out a registration like we're not reserved. It's still misty rain. I'm sure by morning we'll have snow. See right here, it says prepaid reservations. We reserved online, there's nothing. Probably because of the holiday, whatever. It's fine, we'll we'll sort it out. It's in the tube, can't go in. Let's go, come on, let's go back to the house. Oh, we all tangled up now. <laughs> what guy? You kept, you have to be a good boy. Protecting the gifts. Yeah, you see Santa Paws came. <laughs> Santa Paws came for Guy Pie? Well, we were dreaming of a white Christmas and looks like we drove until we found it. It's a... Uh, 21 it feels like nine degrees outside currently so not too bad we've been in much much worse but it is a blizzard warning here today because the winds are supposed to be like 35 plus miles per hour and it's supposed to continue to snow all day long it just started overnight so what we see here most of it's been blown around <laughs> into drifts and whatnot so i'm anxious to see how much we're actually gonna get here Last night, since we did not have a packet with our name on it, since we reserved earlier in the day, but it was Christmas Eve, um, we went up to the front little office area and they had a list of sites that were available. So we just picked a packet from one of those available sites and took that site. So <laughs> we don't know if this is actually supposed to be ours, but it is now. So overall it worked out. I mean, that's one thing with us is we'll, we'll figure out a way. We'll make it happen. I come in and Mike's getting awfully festive over there. It's my last bottle. Oh no. That's terrible. I know. Not good. Yeah. Although I can see guys little schnoz up there. Sniff, 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 cry, cry, cry. You want your presents? 
Good job. Good job, guys. Got yourself a Nieta. Let's see. He's like, give me another one. <laughs> <laughs> Typical like kid on Christmas. Not even appreciative. Oh, there you go. No, you gotta let you gotta let Pipe have a turn. She does it a lot more carefully than Guy does. Yeah. Guy, you gotta let her do it. Why are you so paws? A good girl! Look at the toy! Mikey's gonna have to cut the plastic things off of all these toys. Yeah, that'll be my job. That's your job. Yeah, you Guy, you can't take them bowls! <laughs> What did you got? Look at what you just got. <laughs> and they both want some. Did you already open that one? Oh my gosh, you did. Guy, here we go now. She's getting it. <laughs> Guy, that's Piper's. Look at it. Okay, you unwrap Piper's harness. The last one is what I got you. You can see I wrapped it for you. It, yeah. It looks like Amazon packaging, but it's really... It's really your special packaging? Yes. Like I said, I never got to verify the contents. <laughs> Ever shows. <laughs> I, I do whole, love dodgeball. I spent the whole $20 on that. That's cute, Mikey. Thank you. <laughs> Look at the dogs and all their all their stuff. Look at the mess you've made. There's paper everywhere, gay. Some toys over here, and we got all the treats and bones up here for now. But we gotta let's give them something. Which one do you guys want? We got these two dog treats that Snowman and Santa. We give these to the dogs. Yeah, she sits there and waits. Yeah, it's because she's a good girl. And then she's gonna get hers first. He does that. Hi, chill. Okay, see how nice she took hers. Oh, you took it pretty good. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, wonderful's on the couch. <laughs> well, it is snowing and blowing. I don't anticipate us being out here for very long. Yeah. But the dogs are itching to get out. For some reason, now Piper looks like she's regretting her decision already. <laughs> it's cold. We got it's windy. Let's let's go this way against the with the wind to our backs, Pipe. <laughs> let's go this way, Pipe. This way. Now it's it's very blizzardy. Yeah. It, Walking it, into this, you can't hurt. see. Why are we the only ones out? <laughs> it hurts me. Ah! Holy crap. Oh my gosh. I might have to walk backwards. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on. Let's my back have a little wind block again. Oh my gosh. just a very beautiful day out. I don't know why no one else is out here. Yeah, why is it just us? <laughs> it's definitely a good day to just stay put. Yeah, for sure. It's nice and toasty inside the race. Maybe I'll do some baking and uh, kind of enjoy this blustery Christmas day. Yeah, at least it's a white Christmas and we found the snow. Yeah, we did. That was our goal and we did it. <laughs> we had to go to Nebraska to do it, but right. here we are. Yeah, mission accomplished. <laughs> Let's see, will she be ready to go back in? Yeah, she's going that way. Looks like she's pulling that way. We didn't have to tell her, she's just going. Guy too. We have decided to stay put one more day, unfortunately, because of the blizzard that is a little further west of here. It has subsided here, 
It's just moved. It's just now it's further west and that's exactly where we're going. And they're saying 60 plus mile per hour winds. And snow. And like three to five inches of snow, i.e. blizzard-like conditions. Years ago, not so many years ago, a younger me would have just said, let's go. And yeah. just went head first into it. Yeah. But I just don't want to deal with it. Yeah, you would have been like, send it. Yeah. <laughs> We're now, going. I just, I'll wait a day, wait till it's out and out of the way, then we'll go. Yeah, because uh, they do shut down the interstate and they did the other day here, shut down the interstate right where we are. So we don't want to get stuck on some back road somewhere. Yeah, so we're going to pay for another night. Yep. And um, we're just going to see what Grand Island, Nebraska <laughs> has to offer. Yeah, we're going to see Grand Island's finest. We're going to check out this museum that's in the town. So hopefully it'll give us something to do. Yeah, I mean... It's 25 degrees outside, but we're comfortable. We can do outside things. Yeah, it's not bad at all. But it, the problem is there just isn't any <laughs> outside yeah. things. Yeah. They said local places come out here and they all just decorate a tree for the museum. Now that is a camera. Here, I'll stand for scale. Right. It's a big camera. Yeah, it's very large. From the 1860s, 1930s. Oh, you can look in it from down here. Oh, cool. <laughs> Ping pong. Deck of cards. That's how you still entertain yourself. I know. I was playing. Cards. I was You're playing cards yesterday. Last night. <laughs> <laughs> Phonograph. Receiver radio. Yeah, Nebraska Territory Currency. Hmm. 1850s, 1860s. Do you want to get plowed? Oh. <laughs> Sounds fun. <laughs> That's how you get a workout. Use that for the garden. Yeah, a breaking plow. Mm hmm. Hook up Piper and Guy to it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we get much done. <laughs> I found it on Hershey's. It's a good kind. It's got almonds in it, too. It says uh, that wrapper's from 1912 to 1926. Five cents, too. Five cents. I, I could buy a couple. Just a couple? Just a couple. This is something we could actually use today. Like, literally, today outside in the snow. The sleigh. It has a date of 1900 on it. It's a tiny coffin. I don't know if that's meant for an adult or not. But yeah, I don't I mean, think so. It's, it's really not that big. I'm trying to give it some scale, but... Yeah. Back up. See, there's Mike. See how long? Yeah, you ain't fitting in there. This toolbox is probably just about the same size. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys guess. What do you think this is? <laughs> I'm it's gonna... not just one thing. No, it's six in one. So if you can guess one of the six. Oh, this side will give it away. Oh, it will? Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, it will, probably. I mean, obviously, that's going to give it away. But man, I never would have guessed. This is a six in one woodworking. Does a rip saw, band saw, spindle shaper, planer, boring machine, and mortising machine. Never would have guessed it just by looking at it like this. First prize dog power. This machine. Run the dogs on it, create some power. And it was uh, $15. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> Did it look cool? Yeah. Don't worry, this is one of the things we could stand on and touch. Been bad. <laughs> Time for jail. Lock you up. The old ball and chain, Mikey. <laughs> yep. It says you can feel free to pick up the ball. Oh, really? Yeah, right here. Okay. It says, uh, how tough it can be to get a sense of the movement restriction caused by the ball and chain. Please feel free to try and pick up Be the ball. Safe. Yeah, it's heavy. I would say it weighs maybe 35 pounds. Yeah, probably. 
It says roughly 50. I don't know if I believe that. It didn't that. feel like 50. I think maybe maybe the whole with thing, the chain, yeah. The whole thing, maybe. A day in a salon looks like torture. <laughs> torture or beauty? Oh my gosh, I did not see that before I said that. <laughs> Iron lung. That would suck. Just, yeah, it would. Just let me die. Nothing like a little electrotherapy treatment to get you feeling back to yourself. I'll pass. Yeah. I don't really think people who got this treatment had a choice to pass or not. <laughs> we had to walk up here by the train to make Mike happy. You want to see it? It's pretty big. Yeah, it's very big. It weighed 172,000 pounds. 161,000 was carried on the drive wheels. It could haul 2,870 tons of freight and equipment on the main line. Oh, shoot, that's cool. Yeah, it is. I mean, this really blocked your your view. <laughs> sure did. I mean, they got like these little windows up here and stuff, but man, yeah. you can see that's your view. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's what you get. You get what you get. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks quite pretty nice in there. Yeah, it is. Not too bad. I want to go cool. in. I know. It's kind of a bummer. It's probably nice and not windy in there. You like the caboose. <laughs> I do like a nice caboose. And this is pretty nice. You know a good caboose when you see one? Yeah, I do. Okay. It'd be really cool to get inside, but here we are in the off season, so. Yeah. But then again, I don't know if they let anybody in. I don't. Ever. the bison back there. I think normally during the summer you, like they have a farmstead here, something like that, so I think you could probably get up a lot closer to them. They're coming right at us. I think we're out here all by ourselves, but the thing is like, yeah, it's winter, but I'm not cold. It's 24 degrees last time I checked, but I don't know, I guess people are scared. <laughs> it was a literal blizzard yesterday. Yeah. They're following us. <laughs> right by their food dispenser. I don't have anything for you. I don't have coins on me, I'm sorry, Doc. We made it. Yep. Welcome to Railroad Town, the year is 1893. This is reminding me an awful lot of Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> in the summertime, I guess they have a lot of these buildings opened up and you can go inside. Of course, we're here in the snow. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's closed. So that's kind of what we do. Yeah. You like to see these things when there's no one else here, apparently. <laughs> It'd be fun at night. Yeah, we like to do that too. Tiny bank for sure. Yeah. This is cool because everything actually inside looks like what it's supposed to look like. Well, it's 1893. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Lest you forget. Out. You gotta watch out for the wet spots. Yeah. No one likes it. Yeah, now we're looking at like old, old buildings. I like how they pull the curtains back so you can spy. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Looks like we got some blood or something. Yeah, and there's animal prints everywhere. Something, something got, got. got. Something <laughs> got. Here's the outhouse. Well, yeah, it doesn't look like it's really secured that well. There you go. All right, guys. Nice two-holer for you. 
Uh, one a little higher, one a little lower. Uh, his and hers. <laughs> Perfect. We can do it at the same time. <laughs> That's what every marriage needs. Yep. Well, it's a minute cabin. Well, that's all the information we got. This isn't the history channel. Yeah. <laughs> More blood. And down, cabin. down there too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Damn nature. <laughs> you scary. <laughs> <laughs> the blood trail follows the prints and it goes all the way. I don't know, it might have been going this way. Yes, yeah, it's going this way. Starting to lose it. There's a spot. And that's all I got. Yeah. I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's snow over there by the window, on the yarn, on the, on the, on the rug. <laughs> yeah, this one's not sealed up very well, but. Yeah. All right, guys, we're back in the trail. <laughs> you look at, there's a whole lot here. Yeah, there's a lot here. Whatever it is, or was, is gone. Yeah, it didn't live. It, it didn't make it. No, it, it gone. Step in my steps. I'll make small steps since you have small legs. You got small getaway sticks. Did it work? Yeah. I think we saw all we could see here at the Pioneer Village or whatever at the stole. It's the the railroad town. Yeah. What was it called? Let me look. This is Railroad Town, Nebraska. That's where we were. Okay. I think we saw all we could see. Had a good time though. It was very interesting. I think it would be really cool. It's probably a pretty big attraction here in the in the summertime. But we had the place for ourselves. Yes, we did. So that was quite nice, if I do say so myself. But I think we're gonna go find some lunch. I did get one warning already. He's probably working up a second one as we're yeah, speaking right it's now. Just, it's past due for lunchtime. <laughs> now we gotta walk all the way over there to the Jeep. Yep. I thought you knew where we were going. Going to the campground. We're just taking a detour. Dirt roads. Yeah, you can't really tell in the video, but this is a dirt road. It's not too bad, actually. Probably better than some of the other roads we've been on, besides kicking up rocks. Back at the campground. Gotta go check on them puppies. Make sure they didn't terrorize the place. We did have lunch. Yes. It was very good. It was actually very, very good. It was uh, <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings. Right, but it was actually probably one of our best Buffalo Wild Wings stops. We've, we've been to B-dubs all over the country, literally. And uh, Grand Island, Nebraska, probably the, uh, the best one we've ever been to. Yeah, go figure. Let's go this way. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's go! Oh gosh. Come on! We're gonna do our speed test as we always do. Uh, we're at the Grand Island KOA Journey. Uh, where are we at? We're just south Do of... Donovan. Yeah, just south of Grand Island. AT&T. Not good, not bad, just kind of in the middle. 48.2 download, 13.5 upload. I say in the middle, but it's kind of last place, I think. Verizon. 150 download, 22.6 upload. T-Mobile, home internet. 151 download, 49.8 upload. And just one point to make about it. People have asked, like, oh, it says it's not available at my address. We put in this address. It says it's not available here, but look. You see the results. T-Mobile Cellular. 741 download, 21.8 upload. We are hoping to get on out of here. We've been trying to get out of here. Yeah. I took this, this screenshot yesterday. That's Interstate 80 and I-76. Yep. It was shut down from Wyoming mm -hmm. all the way over to, well, we're just outside of Grand Island, about 80 miles from here. Yeah and we wanted it to go west and it says they said no yeah, they have not been able to go west so we've just been kind of staying put waiting for the roads to get cleaned up and we're going to try and go now yeah the problem is the wind that was the major issue lots of drifting yeah lots and lots of drifting and super cold temperatures right so 
Hopefully today they say it's supposed to be opened up. We're gonna get on the road and find out for ourselves. All right, moment of truth. Getting out of our campsite. Easy peasy. Yep. All right, that gate is up. That's always a good sign. Let's go west. What do you think? You like your shower? That's not bad. I mean, it's free. 